Oh. Reaper, we keep it rough. We keep it raw. We keep it real, man. Make sure you subscribe to the Reaper because I'm doing good things here at Reaper, man. You just don't know, man, some of the things that we had to do, man, because we on location, you know, just to get live. But let me get to the topic today, man. Uh, Bronny James or Shadur Sanders, man, who's ready to go pro, you know, now, you know, um, I think uh, Shadur Sanders is ready to go pro now. Now, they're both two spoiled kids, right? And they both come from, you know, two Hall of Fame, you know, uh, pro athletes. The Reaper Keep It 1000, Deion Sanders, all-world Hall of Famer in football, right? And LeBron James, you know, uh, some people consider as the GOAT. Um, I don't. You know, he ain't even close, but... You know, uh, some people do consider him as the goat. Uh, is Bronny James's dad? But what I don't see in Bronny is I don't see the talent. His daddy got talent, but uh, Bronny doesn't have the talent to be in the NBA. Man, the Reaper keep it one thousand. I mean, Bronny doesn't even have the talent, man, to be at USC. It's just that he got featured in high school, right? And, you know, because he was LeBron James's son, he was at Sierra Canyon, you know. And so the coach played him and they featured him in high school or whatever. But Bronny James does not have a dog in him and he doesn't, you know, have the talent, man, to even be at USC. Now, they're going to mold him into a pro player, you know, with all of the, um, you know, with all of the training that he's going to get. And just because of his dad, you know, so they're going to mold Bronny into a pro player, right? You know, and I hope he's not on that Balco, you know, but everything the Reaper is saying is alleged, you know, because I don't know these people, but it's been out there, man. The Reaper keep it 1,000 that LeBron James was on Balco, and then Bronny uh, had a heart attack, you know, uh, because he was taking PEDs, you know, this is what some people have speculated. The Reaper keep it 1000, you know, about uh, Bronny James. So um, the Reaper is just saying, man, you know, uh, you know, uh, Bronny James, I don't think he had a dog in him because he didn't he didn't come from humble beginnings, but his dad did. Right. And Bronny James, you know, has been raised in the suburbs, you know, um, and he's really not been around that too many black people to reaper keep it 1000. You know, I'm just going to be honest about it because they've been living in rich neighborhoods and Bronny hasn't been exposed to that where Shadur Sanders has because he grew up in Texas and, you know, uh, his dad put him in a public school, I think. I think Shador was in a public school, you know, and he was exposed to different things and culture and everything. I hung around a lot of black people and because Dion did and, you know, because he primed, you know, and, you know, when he went to Jackson State, that's all black college, you know, the Reaper Keeper at 1000. So I think Shador Sanders, you know, uh, got more dog in him, even though I don't see the dog in him either. I see a little softness in him, too. But I think that he's had more, he got more dog in him and more realness than Bronny James do. The Reaper keep it 1,000, you know. Uh, I don't see no dog in Bronny. I'm just going to be honest about it. <laughs> no, I see dog in his daddy. His daddy didn't got no dog like Jordan did, but, you know, he came from humble beginnings. Don't nobody mess with LeBron, and LeBron will throw them hands if he got to, you know, because he grew up in the, you know, he grew up in the hood of Cleveland, and he grew up with, very humble beginnings you know and then so he's a little bit tougher than his son his son you know uh is not tough at all i don't see no dog in him i see him you know riding his dad's coattail to the nba just because his name is uh he's Bronny jr and he's lebron james's son and that's the only reason people are considering him and he got a lot of social media followers that's the only reason he's not getting there off of his talent because he doesn't have the talent to play pro ball, man. The Reaper keep it 1,000. Even at USC, they had him sitting on the bench. 
he just don't have that kind of talent, man. The Reaper keep it 1,000. I'm just saying there is other people out there that's got way more talent, man, than Bronny James. The Reaper keep it 1,000, you know. And, you know, they're not going to get the shot because Bronny James has a lot of social media followers because he's LeBron James' son and he's LeBron James' son. That equals dollars. That's what owners will be looking at. The Reaper keep it 1,000. I'm just being honest about it. Um, it's just like uh, Lonzo and Lamelo Ball. They went the first and second pick in the draft, man. You know, they was good enough to play in the NBA, though, as you can see in today's NBA. That's what I'll say. You know, in today's NBA, they was good enough, but they, they wasn't the first and second pick. As we saw, De'Aaron Fox was better than uh, uh, Lonzo Ball. The Reaper keep it 1,000, you know, because De'Aaron Fox is ripping it up for Sacramento, man. You know, but... Lonzo had more social media followers and he was from L.A. and L.A. had that pick. So they thought that they could make some dollars off of it. That's why Magic sit up there and lied and say, we're going to be retiring your number like we going to retire mine. We knew that was some bullshit. The Ripper keep it 1000. I'm just being honest about it. Magic was sitting up there lying through his teeth. <laughs> but this is the way it go down. But Shador Sanders, man. Now he's legit. You know, if a team pick him, he's not the number one pick like Dion trying to pump him up to be. But I understand that. That's his dad. He want him to go high as he want to. And he shouldn't be able to pick his franchise. But the only reason he's going to be able to pick his franchise that he go to because of pride. The Reaper keep it 1,000. Dion's all world, you know, in the NFL and got much respect. So Shador's going to play where Dion feels comfortable uh, with him playing. And he ain't hurting for no paper. You know, the Reaper keep it 1,000. But Shador is legit. Shador Sanders is legit. I ain't going to even lie because he's had big games, big touchdown games, everything on the on uh, on on the uh, HBCU level, Division II level, and Division I and D1. I mean, Shador is the real thing. You know, the Reaper keep it 1,000. I think he's he's more like uh, Steve McNair. You know, I mean, he got a, he got an arm and stuff. But, you know, he ain't much of a runner or whatever. He didn't pick up his daddy's speed or whatever. But uh, Shador is legit. Shador got the talent to play in the NFL. It ain't just because of Dion. You know, it's because of Dion. Don't get me wrong. Because Dion featured him. But I'm saying he got the talent, too. You know, well, he didn't. He took he, he listened to his dad and, you know, he developed. You know, he developed. He listened to his dad and developed, you know, just like Shaq's big goofy son with that big 22 inch shoe and listen to his daddy. He could have been in the NFL. I mean, NBA, but he he went he, he wanted to hurry up and get to the pros. Because, you know, that mama of his was telling him he good enough to be in the pros and he hard headed. He wouldn't even listen to his daddy. That's why he ain't in the pros. Reaper keep it 1,000. But Shador listens to his dad, man. You can tell. Uh, and, you know, he going to stay and develop. And Shador going to be good in the NFL. You know, I think he going to be a starter. He going to be he gonna be a starter. He going to be something like, uh, what's, the, what's the Bears quarterback, Justin Fields, that play that's going to take Russell Wilson's position in Pittsburgh? <laughs> That's that's who uh, Shador going to be like. Shador got the talent. It ain't only he got there. He got featured in high school and everything because Dion was the coach. And, you know, he getting featured at Colorado and everything because Dion's the coach. But he can play, too. You know, that's the difference. Bronny James get featured. Bronny James ain't going to Bronny James. The dude on the bench going to be better than Bronny James. Because Bronny ain't got that dog in him, and Bronny want to slip up under, you know, uh, the table. He ain't working, you know. I'm just saying some some guys got it, some guys don't. You can tell who got talent. Now, if he work hard, I guess he can be in the NBA. His daddy is the hardest worker there he is. You know what I'm saying? But right now, today, he doesn't have the talent, man. And if a team draft him, he entered into the draft or whatever, and if a team draft him, they draft him strictly because he's LeBron James Jr., the Reaper keep it 1,000. That's why they drafted him, man. They ain't drafting him off his talent because he ain't got. He can't even start at USC. Them cats that's, that's at USC, they got more talent than Bronny. This is just real talk, man. So, um, but this is the way it go down, man. You know, uh, Bronny James don't have a dog and even don't have a talent, you know, and 
and in his high school years ain't hung out with enough dogs that's brothers. But Shador done hung out with dogs that's brothers. You know, the Reaper keep it 1,000 because, you know, his daddy had him about some dog football players. And then he done hung out, he done hung out you know, uh, with some brothers, you know, playing in Texas or whatever. So, you know, and then at Jackson State, you know, so Shador is more, got that more of a dog in him and competitive nature than Bronny James do. Reaper keep it 1,000. That's just the way I feel. Bronny James' dad got the competitive nature in him, but Bronny Jr. don't because Bronny Jr. has been raised with a platinum spoon in his mouth. The Reaper keep it 1,000, and he doesn't have that kind of talent, man, that these brothers got out here that's from the humble beginnings. Now, I like to get to the lady that rides with me, the lady that keeps it 1,000, sweet and sassy what's up sassy hey how you doing oh the reaper is on location and you know hey just enjoying some great weather out here you know um on location you know in the coach what you got on those hot trending topics today here for the reaper okay let's start off with ex nfl star uh terrell Suggs. Terrell Suggs, that big gorilla looking ass nigga. <laughs> don't don't Terrell Suggs <laughs> and his head and his muscle bound, he's shaped like an ape. I mean, and they say you shouldn't call a black man an ape, but that, that nigga look like an ape. The Reaper keep it 1000 is just like face I love, look like an ape. <laughs> what you got on Terrell Suggs? Sucks. Terrell sucks. <laughs> what you got on? Well. He was arrested for brandishing a gun in Scottsdale, Arizona, and threatening to kill a man at Starbucks during an argument. Suggs was in the drive through line at Starbucks. He drove past the ordering speaker when he put his Range Rover in reverse. He made contact with another man's car. Both drivers exited their vehicles. An argument ensued. When Suggs was about to leave, he flipped the guy off which kicked off another argument. Sub called the man a pussy-ass cracker and said, I'll kill you, bitch. Flashed his gun out the driver's side window as he pulled off to leave. No damages were made to either vehicle. The man reported the incident to police. The whole interaction was caught on video. Sub was booked on felony count of disorderly conduct involving a weapon and one misdemeanor count of threatening and intimidation. Suggs said he was in fear for his life and thought the man was going to follow him home. He feared for his safety of his family. He said the other man escalated the situation. No, I don't believe that, you know, because Terrell backed up his Range Rover and hit him and Terrell was the one with the gun. And if he, it wasn't like the man took off after him and then, or was following him and he pulled over and this happened. Terrell backed up and <laughs> and hit his car and did, you know, started escalating the incident. You know, the Reaper keep it 1,000. So how could he been in fear of his life when he had the gun and he had drove away and he backed up <laughs> and the dude wasn't following him? You know, he could have drove off. The dude wasn't following him. And now if the dude was following him when he drove off and he pulled over, right? And then, you know, they got into it. He could say, well, this dude was following me home. You know, the Reaper keep it 1,000. But... You know, Terrell was on his merry way and backed up and got pissed off and say, no, this motherfucker didn't. <laughs> that CTE start acting up, you know, the Reaper keep it 1,000. <laughs> no, this motherfucker didn't. The motherfucker backed up and shit, hit the motherfucker's car, got out, threatening the dude, and then... <laughs> <laughs> and then caught him, <laughs> caught him a, a pussy ass racial slur. <laughs> pussy ass C word. <laughs> uh, I'm just saying. So, you know, uh, I think that Terrell got pissed off at this dude in the drive through, you know, where were they at? Jack in the box or such shit? <laughs> Starbucks. Starbucks. 
Darrell wanted his coffee. He got pissed off at this dude. You know, they got the argument in the drive through and he couldn't let the shit go. You know, that CTE start acting up. The Reaper keep it. What, thousand? Terrell, go get your head checked out because an incident at Starbucks and you got the gun <laughs> and you backed up and you, you were escalating the incident even further to rail the reaper keep it 1000 that's why they got you on camera and that's why they arrested you uh what else you got okay let's go to ex nba star ben mclemore ben mclemore he was arrested and booked on a charge of first degree rape records wow. show he's still behind bars He's facing one count of unlawful sexual penetration wow. and two counts of sexual abuse in wow. addition to ra a rape charge. Wow. That's crazy. Cops say a woman told them Macklemore was, um, who played for the Portland Trailblazers at the time, sexually assaulted her while in the home at Lake Oswego. Then uh, Macklemore was accused of committing crimes in 2021. Macklemore denies the allegations and said the truth will come to the light. Police began investigating and Macklemore was identified as a suspect. The detectives continued to gather evidence. His bill was set at $500,000. His hearing is scheduled for July. He was arrested by U.S. Marshals and jailed in Oregon. Shit, you can't do shit in Oregon. The Reaper keep it 1,000. I'm just being honest about it. They'll tear your ass up in Oregon. The Reaper keep it 1,000. Well, Ben McLemore, I don't know whether this he did this or not, you know, but, you know, if they got DNA evidence and they got woman, that woman is saying that, then, you know, uh, I guess he going to be up shit Creek without a pallet, but you just never know, you know, nowadays, you know, with these bras, man. You know, they be trying to get money civilly and everything, but it sounds like they're going after him criminally. The Reaper keep it 1,000, you know. But so, but the broad was saying that about Kobe, too, remember? And then she took the payoff or whatever. So, you know, they do this with these NBA players or these people that's got money, man. You know, uh, these women do. They get them in a compromising position, then they have sex with them, and they say they raped them. So, you know, uh, this does happen. You know, we saw it happen many, many times, and then they'll come back years later, like they did with Bill Cosby or whatever, you know, and without any evidence. So, but uh, it sounds like this woman went straight off, you know. So, if she went straight off, so uh, she could be telling the truth. I'm not saying that she is. I'm not saying that she is. And I'm not saying that Mac Lamore is guilty, and I'm not saying that Mac Lamore is innocent or whatever. You know, the truth will come out, you know, but hey, he got his black ass in Oregon. Shit. <laughs> you can't do shit in Oregon. What else you got? <laughs> okay, let's go to Jeezy. Young Jeezy. He's now asking for primary custody of his daughter amid the divorce, stating that Jeannie is not taking care of his daughter and is never around. He asked the judge to toss out the current custody and is requesting his daughter live with him full time. GZ alleges that Jeannie has her brother and mother taking care of the two year old Monaco, claiming Jeannie's extensive tra travel schedule isn't good enough for their kid. He said the child would have more stability if he had primary custody and wants the judge to enforce it. Jeannie says she accommodated GZ's visitation and his request to have her on the holidays. She reported that Jeezy's home is unsafe for a child alleging he has unsecured firearms at his home. Jeezy says Monaco is never left alone and his firearms are secured. He's asking for full custody. Jeezy asking for full custody because he don't want to get that broad no more money. You know, the Reaper keep it 1000 so it's going to be the broad did this, the broad did that. But the broad was out for money, and he was paying her out a lot of money. And she was going over to Asia, bringing her parents over and everything, and spending a lot of his money in Asia. So that's what caused the divorce. You know, the Reaper keep it 1000 because that broad was out for of, uh, of money. You know, I talked to a lot of Asian cats, man. And you know what they say? They said that the women be out for money, man. You know, more than the American women do. The Reaper keep it by a thousand. man can run around and do everything he wants to, but you better bring that money home. Yeah, shit. They be out for money, man. So 
Jeannie Ma, you know, was spending a lot of uh, Jeezy's money, you know, filtering it over there in Asia or the Philippines or wherever she from, man. And Jeezy got wind of it, you know, because the bank account was leaking, you know. Uh, and he was asking why and all of this, you know, but this is all alleged. But, you know, I believe that's why he divorced her immediately. You know, the Ripper keep it 1,000 because she was caught off guard by it. Like, wow, you know, but she shouldn't have been caught off guard because the broad like to spend a lot of money. I ain't saying she a gold digger, but she wasn't messing with no broke nigga. Get down, girl. Go ahead. Get down. You get down, girl. Go ahead. Get down. Because, you know. Hey, some of these bras be gold diggers, man. I mean, they dig deep in your pocket. <laughs> like a rocket. <laughs> the ripper keep it 1,000. I mean, they dig deep in your pocket. And some of these bras be off money, man. Jeannie Ma, you know, she from Asia or the Philippines or somewhere, man. And they be out for that paper. And that's why Jeezy got up off of her, man, because she had filtered probably a few million dollars over there, man. The Reaper Keeper 1000, man. That was over paper, man. That's what I believe because it wasn't no other excuse. And they was happily married and all that seemed like. So I think Jeezy wanted to get out from up under that, man, because that was over paper. What else she got? Okay, let's go to Mary J. Blige. Mary J. Blige, the queen of hip hop. What you got on Mary J.? Universal Music Group is facing a new lawsuit, and it is, all has to do with Mary J. Blige's most famous song, which someone is now claiming illegally sampled an old jam uh, to make real love. A company called Tough America, which owns Tough City Records, is suing the music publishing giant claiming it sampled their song without permission. Real Love allegedly uses a sample from a song called Impeach the President in both uh, sound recording and the music composition. Tough City reached out to Universal with no response, so now they are suing. Um, Tough is saying... Um, that they're suing for damages and want University to stop profiting off its sample for the song Real Love. Universal is not responding and Mary J has no comment. Man, that's about 25 years late, ain't it? The Reaper keep it 1,000. I mean, Real Love, wasn't that one of her first songs? Real Love. I'm searching for a real love. Someone to take my heart. I think when she made Real Love, she was still living in the ghetto. That's what they said. But, you know, I'm just saying these people do so much sampling, man. You know, Puff Daddy Nim and Timberland and all these other new producers, man, run the game, man, because they do so many samples. It's ridiculous, man. The Reaper Keep It 1000. Nobody is original and people is always coming back suing somebody or whatever, you know, for uh, taking their music. But I would think, you know, uh, they would have noticed that a long time ago. The Reaper keep it 1,000. Why in 2024 they trying to come back and and sue her off of real love and they should be suing the, the, the record company or whoever made that song for her or that beat. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being honest about it because they the one that's that got paid. You know, most of the money, the Reaper keep it 1,000, they should be going after, you know, that record company or whatever. You know, not Mary J, but you know, because Mary J ain't got no ends no more. I think somebody had to loan her some ends, you know, because, you know, that that nigga that looked like a orangutan that was her husband, man, he took her for a lot. <laughs> that nigga looked like a orangutan, big little orangutan. He looked like he looked like Jimmy Walker or some shit. <laughs> It was Jimmy Jimmy Walker said or whatever. Jimmy Walker said took her for a lot of money because he was her manager and shit, and she wasn't managing those funds. And and he took her for a lot of money, man. The Reaper keep it one thousand. So you know, uh, Mary J. You know, uh, somebody had to you know just dig her out of the out of the dumps. You know, I mean, shit. I don't know. She is she gonna have to go over there and party with Diddy. <laughs> She got to go work for Diddy like 50 Cent's woman did. <laughs> Diddy, said, Diddy put 50 Cent's, 50 Cent's baby mama on the whole straw. <laughs> 
That's what they said. They said he was a trafficker. He used to have young Mimi and Cassie and 50 Cent's mama and a bunch of other broads. They sleep with the other these politicians or people he know, you know, in the business game or whatever. And, and, and you know, he had them, they would have freak offs or some shit. The Reaper keep it 1,000. So Mary J was going to have to go work for Diddy. <laughs> Diddy show sure did put 50 Cent's mama in the right, baby mama in the right position. 50 Cent fell for it, had a baby by it. Diddy said, I'm going to put you out on the whole stroke. She is. They would keep it 1,000. He put her out on the whole stroke because, they, they, hey, trafficking is another form of uh, prostitution, in case y'all didn't know. And that's what they're trying to get Diddy on. they saying that he had, you know, all these women, you know, and men and power, but. <laughs> Power, but he he bought it. He said, he said, you want some power, but I could bring you some power, but if that's what you into, he said, TD, go do your thing. <laughs> power bottom. <laughs> that worries looking nigga. I just like a, a big long one. <sighs> You know, if you got a long one in, and have you ever been swallowed? <laughs> he gonna put some blast oil on that dick. The Reaper keep it 1,000. <laughs> Power bottom, but you know, he was pipping him out too. The Reaper keep it 1000. So, I mean, that's what happens, man. You know, um, but you know, uh, I hope Mary J get her stuff together and they don't go after Mary J. You know, uh, she been through enough. What else you got? Okay, let's go to Cat Williams. Cat Williams. Uh, his recent stand-up show didn't end with a standing ovation. Instead, it ended with bloody fans exiting the building. Uh, he had a show in Indiana Farms a Coliseum in Indianapolis, but partway through the show, a fight broke out in the stands and brought everything to a stop. There was a lot of shouting and confusion. The lights flipped on when many people rushed towards the exit with the most violent action um, seemingly wrapped up it was a violent altercation one man's face was completely covered in blood they evacuated the entire venue it was unclear where cat was at the time and um a rep from cat uh, says the show was almost over so the audience didn't miss out on too much yeah there's always a melee busting out of cat williams shows or whatever you know uh because a lot of young people go to his show don't cat williams look like uh Daffy Duck, you know, the Reaper with a perm, the Reaper keep it 1,000. He's short <laughs> with big feet <laughs> and, a, and a duck voice. The Reaper keep it 1,000. <laughs> they tell what Little Rail said. He's he short with a perm with big feet. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh. But, you know, um, Hey, Cat Williams always be wanting to fight and run his mouth. He can, that little dude, he always be talking about how shape he is and how he run a 40 or 4-4 or 4-3 or whatever. You know, they they said 4-8. It was 4-8. <laughs> but that's still good. And he over 50, you know. But the little dude, the little 13-year-old, had him in a full Nelson where he could move. <laughs> and Trick Daddy said, you know what, Cat Williams, when he's 40, when he's 40, when that 13 year old, you know, choked him out, that's when he was funny. You know, that's when he was funny. You know, and that, that's the only time Cat Williams was funny because he ain't funny. <laughs> and Cat Williams, the trick daddy was messing with Cat Williams first. And Cat Williams said, In America, you don't have to look good no more. Trick daddy is rich and famous, and he's the ugliest man in America. <laughs> That hit a nerve with Trick Daddy because he looked like Bumra. The Reaper keep it 1,000. Oh, Bumra! <laughs> the nerve with Trick Daddy's ass, right? He said, can we, well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can we, can we, can we, can we, with your bitch ass, I know. I'm a gangster nigga. You know, with your bitch ass, can't wait. I'm sure. You know, I'm going to tell you something. 
you know, keep my name out your mouth with your bitch ass. You know, I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna come in your house, knock on your bedroom door, wake you up at night with your bitch ass that way. He said, you know, you short with a perm. He said, I said I wasn't no comedian, but I, I said you short with a perm and with your bitch ass and your, your funny shaped ass and your funny looking ass. <laughs> I said, Trick Daddy said he wasn't a comedian, but he was steady trying to break on him while he was driving his car. <laughs> I'm going to come to your house, knock on your door, I'm gonna, uh, at your bedroom door, and wake you up at night. Trick Daddy was so disturbed. Now, why knock on his bedroom door if he's in his house already? The Ripper keep it 1,000. <laughs> Uh, obviously, you broke in, <laughs> but this is what Trick Daddy do. He couldn't get his words together. He was so disturbed. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I mean, hey, if somebody get injured at a Cat Williams show and stuff like that, and they don't have proper security, they will be trying to sue Cat. What else you got? Okay, let's revisit the... Um incident with the uh, nfl's rasheed rice rasheed rice the kansas city Chiefs star receiver uh he's turned himself in the texas police and is now facing eight charges he is now behind bars in a texas jail all stemming from the auto accident he caused and fled the scene he admitted he was driving the lambo and caused the accident dallas and issued a arrest warrant for Rashid, and just one day later, he turned himself into authorities. He's facing one count of aggravated assault, one count of collision involving serious bodily injury, and six counts of collision involving injury. Multiple people were injured. A warrant was also issued for SMU football player Theodore Knox, who was allegedly driving the Corvette. Rice has to post a $40,000 bond before he can be released. Rice still plans to fulfill his obligation to pay for all the damages. There's no word on yet what the NFL has planned for Rasheed. Yeah, I believe they got out of the car and fled because, you know, they was fucked up, number one. Or they had drugs on them, number two, you know, or, or both. The Reaper keep it 1,000, you know. That's why they got out of the car and ran. You know, and it's better to have a hit and run or assault charge on you and face that than have all that on you and have a drug charge on you, too. Because you damn sure going up the river if you had some shit on you, you know, in the trunk or whatever, or you was fucked up, you know, the reaper keep it 1,000. So that's why. And then the next day he's sober. He can turn himself into authorities and say, oh, I was just scared or I made a mistake or this, that and the other. But oh, was you drunk? No, I was just scared because of who I was and. You know, I didn't want to get arrested. You know, well, that was a dumb thing to do. Yeah, it was dumb and this, that, and the other. But it's more to that story. That nigga was fucked up. <laughs> I keep it 1,000 and had some shit on him. And that's why he did what he did. You know, ran down the freeway and they had to catch up with him the next day because they can't prove it. No, they can prove it. He got out of the car and ran. So they trying to get him with all other charges now because they're suspecting that he was fucked up and he injured somebody, you know. And so they're suspecting that. So now they're trying to add on charges and add on charges and everything. Shame that the young man, he doesn't, the young man is going to uh, play himself out of millions of dollars because even if this blows over, which I, I don't think it will because he's just, a, he's a rookie. You know, he hasn't proven himself yet. Now, you know, he's in a bunch of trouble. But even if it does, it's going to cost him millions of dollars. He'll get signed for the lowest, you know, uh, possible wage, you know, bargain shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, nobody's going to sign him to a, a long-term contract. He'll be a one-year guy here, one-year guy there, one-year guy here, one-year guy there. You know, that's what he'll be, you know. Uh, when, in fact, in Kansas City, he could have got sight for three, four more years. You know, Reaper keep it 1,000. But, you know, that's when you get fucked up on your spare time and, you know, you don't respect your craft or whatever. You know, uh, this is what can happen to you, young man. You know, 
I mean, even if you got a good job, you shouldn't be behind the wheel, you know, driving like that. But, you know, uh, niggas always like to drive when they get fucked up. The ripper keep it one thousand. <laughs> Or weed or whatever, they can't feel the ride until they fucked up riding around in it. <laughs> he should have just got a designated driver, you know. I'm just saying, but this is what happened, and I believe they was racing too, going at a high rate of speed. So the other dude left his car too, you know, because Rashid is a rookie and he hangs around a lot of his college friends. The other dude from SMU you know, left his car, too, because they was racing, you know, down the freeway in Dallas for work, probably down Highway 20. The Reaper done been on Highway 20, you know, probably was on Highway 20, you know, and racing down there, you know, because they be going on Highway 20. It leads from Dallas, Fort Worth, to uh, Shreveport, Louisiana, you know, down in that area, you know, and they was racing on Highway 20. You know, and people be uh, going on Highway 20, shoot, you could do 70, 75, and, and trucks would be going by you like you backing up. The Reaper keep it 1,000. That's how fast they be going on Highway 20 in Dallas. You know, what else you got? Okay, let's go to Diddy. Diddy? No shitty? Diddy done changed the lingo to no homo to no Diddy. <laughs> Wow. Whose ass has he been up in now? Because <laughs> he's been up in every ass, it seemed like. <laughs> Diddy was the new Quincy Jones. The Reaper keep it 1,000. <laughs> they said Q was... <laughs> Tupac said Q will get your ass. Because <laughs> Quincy knew all, everybody that was gay in the industry. And they said Quincy that went up in everybody's ass. Allegedly, this is what's been out here, man. Reaper keep it 1,000. And Diddy is the new Quincy. They put him in Quincy Jones' place. Because, you know, hey, Quincy got old and that penis wouldn't get hard no more. He couldn't break in nobody. <laughs> <laughs> what you got, old Quincy? I mean, Diddy. <laughs> well, his son, King Combs, is being sued for sexual assault, and the alleged victim claims she has audio, audio recordings of him forcing himself on her during the yacht party. Grace O'Markai just filed a suit against King in L.A., alleging she was working as a steward on a yacht Diddy chartered before New Year's Eve in 2022. She claimed she was doing her job and King became fixated on her so uncomfortably. Uh, he had uh, her take a shot of liquor and she immediately suspected it was Spike. She said despite telling him to leave her alone and get off of her, he kept trying to kiss her and grope her. He tried to force her to have oral sex, but she fought him off. She has mute bruises from the altercation but was um, able to escape him. She now claims to suffer emotional and mental damage. She's also suing Biddy for aiding and abetting King in the uh, alleged assault. Hey man, I'm just saying you know, Diddy was partying a lot with his sons, you know and everything over at the mansion parties and everything and you know his sons is grown, you know and he was partying with them and everything so if you whatever you into whatever your dad is into you into the reaper keep it 1000 if you partying with him you know so there was a lot of things going on with women and and you're gonna hear that a lot of the kids that were sleeping with they these girls or these women that was over there these young women or whatever they're gonna be coming against them trying to get money too because your daddy's a billionaire and i don't party with y'all so it's a lot of people that they're going to have to pay off, man. The Reaper keep it 1,000, you know. And and if they can't get him, they're going to go after, you know, his kids. Because they freaky, too. You know, they was in the freak fest, too. The Reaper keep it 1,000. You know, this is how, this is if daddy get down like that, they get down like that. If they're partying with daddy, the Reaper keep it 1,000 because they're looking up to daddy. Daddy got all the money. You know, daddy got these big lavish parties with people walking around with tigers and everything and women dancing in the cage. And, you know, I mean, he got all this paper. And if he get down like this, we get down like this. You know, 
Well, if you a pervert freak and you partying with your kids, they probably going to be a pervert freak. Rip or keep it 1,000. That's just the way it go down, man. So, you know, they're going to go after him and his boys. Okay, I hit it. I just pulled. You know? And, you know, the mama was saying that they had guns on them and they never, they, if that, they wouldn't have done that at nobody else's house. And, and this one dude, this one dude said, no, they wouldn't have done that at nobody else's house. So now, you know, the federal agents say, okay, since she's going to file, you know, charges against us and lawsuits against us, we're going to, hey, we got all this stuff on on the kids too. The Reaper keep it 1,000 because they was partying with daddy. So a lot of them bras going to be coming out trying to get paid. Because P. Diddy is a billionaire. Reaper keep it 1,000. Shoot. Hey, they're going to go to kids as girlfriends or whoever they had over there, women that they party with. They're going to get greased up too because they're going to be going after that paper. What else you got? Okay, let's go to John Morant. John Morant. A judge ruled that he acted in self-defense when he hit the 17-year-old in a basketball game at his home. Josh Holloway sued Morant back in September 2022, alleged, alleging he was uh, roughed up. Holloway claimed he accidentally hit Morant in the face. Morant became enraged and socked him with a closed fist. Morant always argued he was acting in self-defense. On Monday, after mulling over testimony for weeks, a Shelby judge handed down a 44-page ruling and concluded Morant was indeed acting in self-defense. Uh, Morant is believed to be in the driver's seat, despite the uh, suit continuing to move forward. Holloway's attorney, Rebecca uh, Alderman, says, they are disappointed of the ruling and will continue to protect and advocate for Joshua. No, I believe that I believe that uh, you know basketball and sports could get physical. But if John Morant had this kid over at his house, man, the kid had the inside track, and then the kid was one of the top players in Memphis. You know, I'm just being honest about it. You know, and you know when you're in that position, right? You don't be trying to, yeah, hey, hey, hey. Let John Morant win on every level <laughs> so you can stay coming over there. The Reaper keep you showing that you good. You know what I'm saying? You show him that you really good. You know, if, if you're that good, but let him win because <laughs> you're playing for your future right now. The Reaper keep it 1,000. You can let him win by one basket, you know, the, where you slacked off on it, where he know you still got talent and you good or whatever. You know, you don't go over there uh, talking smack, did him up tough, hit him in his face like you play the game like so i'll be jaw you know no man that ain't the way you play that the reaper keep it one thousand i know the kid is young and he probably was you know uh talking smack too and it got out of hand and john moran say since you at my house i'm gonna comb your head and kids say well i'm gonna come back with this that and the other and that's when he showed him the strap will bring your ass on back you know but that's going to play more against that kid than John Moran. The Reaper keep it 1,000. Now the kid was trying to get some money because if John, if you over at John Moran's house and he invited you over there, man, he must like your talent and everything and this, that, and the other. And all you do, kid, is not have to blow it at that point. The Reaper keep it 1,000. And he blew it because these kids blow their top, everything, you know, and they don't have no respect and everything, you know, because you should have recognized you was at that man's house and this, that, and the other, you know, you talking smack and and all that kind of stuff, and you got your head combed. The Reaper keep it 1,000. Now you ain't going to even get no paper, and now the NBA going to be done with you. <laughs> you blew it, kid. The Reaper keep it 1,000. You should have been a little bit more humble. What else you got? That's the end of our story. That's the end of our stories, and we like to thank Sweet and Sassy for her trending topic. She does do a good job. And make sure you subscribe to the Reaper, because I'm doing good things here at Reaper. And make sure you thumbs that thing up, man, and share that thing with a friend. Reaper out. Peace.